Hi YouTube! Welcome back again to my channel. And for today's video, we will be answering some uh, theoretical and application questions regarding limits and continuity of functions at point. <laughs> First question is prove that limit of alpha uh, square root of alpha squared plus seven as alpha approaches three is four. So how do we show that? So ganito siya. We will start by introducing our epsilon to be greater than zero, and then we choose delta. Your delta is greater than zero, and this is equal to something we do not know yet, such that. Using the aid of this accumulation point, magkakaroon tayo ng inequality na ganito. Um, absolute value of alpha minus 3. This is less than delta and this is greater than 0. Then we have, so ano yung next step? We manipulate the absolute value of f of x minus l. So yung nangyayari dito, yung f of x natin is yung square root of alpha squared plus 7. So this is square root of alpha squared plus 7 minus 4. Yan. Alam natin this is less than ano kasi uh, absolute value of square root of alpha squared plus 7. And then this is less than or equal to the absolute value of alpha plus 7. Yan. And um, take note that this is equal to alpha minus 3 plus 10. Tama ba? And uh, by triangle inequality, I can have this less than or equal to alpha minus 3 plus ganito siya. And then um, I can write this as 10. Okay. So this is less than delta plus 10. And so, al alam ko na kung ano yung delta ko. So my delta is epsilon minus 10. So that this will be equal to epsilon. So we have proven that name. So therefore, the limit of the square root of alpha squared plus 7 as the alpha approaches 3 is 4. That's it. Um, suppose that the limit of f of x as... Uh, x approaches C is pos non-negative and we prove that this will hold this one. Take natin dito is pwede natin consider muna yung case na uh, n is a positive integer in such a way that gagamit muna tayo ng ano tayo? Gagamit muna tayo ng Principle of mathematical induction. So, ang mangyayari, let us prove this case first. So, parang ganito yung gagawin natin. We prove first this one. A limit of f of x as x approaches c raised to, let's say, gamit ng ibang notation m is equal to the limit of f of x as x approaches c raised to m pareho lang sila yan so your m here is this one okay so para mas madali for simplicity of our notation um i will let this i will let uh, let's say Anong meron dito? K na lang. K be equal to the limit of f of x as x approaches c. So, this becomes k to the m. Yan. Suppose m is 2. So, paano kung m is 2 to? So, di ba magiging ganito siya? f square as x approaches c. That's the same as limit of f of x times f of x yan as x approaches c and then meron na kasi tayong limit of a product tama um the limit of a product says that this is the same as the product of the limit ganyan so this is 
Ganyan. So, that is equal to dalawang k. So, that's k squared. So, big sabihin, um, the statement is true for m equals 2. Ayan. M pala. Ayan. Okay. Um, how about uh, generalizing this? So, suppose uh, the statement is true. The statement is true for m minus 1. And we prove for, for m for m. Okay, so if m is... If the statement is true for m minus 1, so ibig sabihin um, the limit of f of x raised to m minus 1 as x approaches c is equal to k to the m minus 1. So ibig sabihin yan, um, if we are solved, sige, uh, limit of f of x raised to m as x approaches c. So, ibig sabihin, this is the same as the limit of f of x raised to m minus 1 as x approaches c. Tapos, merong f of x yan. Tama? Alam natin, guys, this is the limit of a product. So, para magiging ganito. Yan is equal to the product of a limit. So, this holds for the product already we have presented on the previous video. So, ibig sabihin, this is k to the m minus 1. This is k, tama? So, this is equal to k to the m. So, therefore, the statement is true. Um, limit of f of x raised to Um, raised to m as x approaches c is equal to the limit of f of x as x approaches 3 all over raised to n m pala sorry okay so take m be equal to 1 over n so mangyayari this is limit of f of x raised to 1 over n as x approaches c. Diba ito lang naman yung limit of the nth root of f of x as x approaches c. So, this is the same as diba ito siya magiging okay, lipat ko to ha. Ang mangyayari, this is a uh, limit of f of x so, nth root niya as x approaches c. So, ito na yung papalitan ko ng uh, limit of f of x as x approaches c raised to 1 over n, which is the nth root of the limit of f of x as x approaches c. So, this holds. Okay, so determine whether the function f defined by um, the absolute value of x plus 1 all over 2x plus 2 is continuous at negative 1. If not, determine its type. If there is a way to redefine it, show it. So, let so let's do this. Paano nga mag-prove ng continuity of a function at a point? Una, papakita natin yung f of x, so let's go dito as a draft ha, f of c so bali yung f of x, papalitan mo ng f of c, dapat nag exist siya and then, um, the limit of f of x as x approaches c, exist and then mangyayaring equal sila, okay so f of c Sa f of c pa lang, 
Um, this is undefined already. Okay, so alam natin hindi siya continuous. Thus, f is undefined. Ah, sorry. f is undefined, so f is, thus f is not continuous. At negative 1. Also, ang mangyayari dito, the limit of, ano siya, f of x as x approaches negative 1, tama. So, nakikita mo kasi, ano siya, naka-absolute value. So, ibig sabihin, mahahati mo to into two parts, the positive and the negative side. So, let's double check first. So, dito tayo sa scratch muna. Yung x minus 1 kasi, dalawa yung sagot niya. This is either x minus 1 if x is greater than negative 1 and then this is x min negative of x minus 1 if x is less than negative 1. So, mangyayari um, dalawang isosolve natin. So, limit of f of x as x approaches negative 1 from the right, so nagiging limit of uh, x minus 1 all over 2x minus 2 as x approaches negative 1 from the right, which is equal to limit of magiging 1 over 2 na yan as x approaches negative 1 from the right. So this is limit of a constant, so 1 half lang yan. And this is limit of f of x as x approaches negative 1 from the left, mangyayari, this is limit of negative x minus 1 all over 2 x minus 1 as x approaches negative 1 from the left. So, cancel yan. So, you get negative 1 half. Yan. So, they are not equal. They're thus, yung limit ng f of x mo as x approaches negative 1 does not exist. So, alam talaga natin, um, this is not continuous. And what type of continuity is this? This is essential. So, this is a jump continuity. So, hindi natin siya pwedeng ma-redefine kasi hindi siya removable. Uh, paano mo mangyayaring um, removable siya kung limit niya nag-exist tapos yung f of c mo nag-exist kaya lang hindi sila equal. So, there's a way to redefine it. Pero sa case na to, hindi. Okay, last question. Let new, so new ata to, um, greater than zero, which is a real number, and let limit of phi of x as x approaches c equals the positive infinity. We also let the psi of x as x approaches c becomes new. And then we are asked to verify whether if the limit of the product of two such functions as x approaches to the same accumulation point is um either positive infinity or negative infinity or just a constant. A constant. So, paano to? So, parang ang tinatanong sa atin dito is we only have to check the limit of phi of x times the psi of x as x approaches c. Yan is positive infinity ba, negative infinity ba, or a constant. So, how do we solve on that? Sige. Um, according to the definition of the infinite limit, di ba, mag-introduce tayo ng constant. So, let k be greater than 0. So, if, start tayo, limit of phi of x as x approaches c equals the positive infinity, then, ano mangyayari? Ano mangyayari? There exists a delta greater than 0 such that 0 less than x minus c less than delta for um, f p of x. So, p of x natin is greater than something. Di pa natin alam yan. Although, it can be expressed in terms of k. Yun nga lang, di natin alam kung may kasama ba si k kailangan. Okay. Pero we'll check on that later. If 
limit naman of uh, psi of x as x approaches c is nu. Alam natin si nu is positive, di ba? Positive real number. <coughs> so, mangyayari then, there exists another delta. Uy, dalawang delta. So, pwede tong delta 1 na lang to. Eto delta 2 greater than 0 such that 0 is less than x minus c less than delta 2. Okay. And, so ano mangyayari? Alam natin that this psi of x minus the limit, kasi constant to eh, this is less than something which is greater than 0. Yung something natin, di natin alam. So, pwede ko ba siyang temporarily gamitan ko muna siya ng symbol at say star? Palitan natin yan later. So, this imply that yung star, negative ng star, is less than psi of x minus nu. This is less than star. Tama. Kasi, ano eh, di ba, general math, the absolute value of A less than B implies negative B less than A, but A is less than B. Di ba may ganun tayo? So, yan din yung nangyayari dito. And then, this becomes nu minus star less than psi of x less than nu plus star. Yan. Okay, paano kaya to? Okay. So, ah, eto na. May estimate tayo. So, ibig sabihin, eto ha. Um, I just have to be honest with you. I don't know if some math teachers would agree with this, but some techniques actually are not meant to be taught. Parang hindi siya matuturo. Parang nai-experience lang siya. And based on my experience, I have a feeling pwede ko siyang gawing ganito. Um, kasi K ha, in terms of K, so pwede 2K over new. And so, I have a feeling this star here is nu over 2. So, magiging nu over 2 yan. This is nu over 2. So, this is nu over 2 and this is nu over 2. Kaya mangyayari, this is nu over 2. Kasi nu minus nu over 2, it's nu over 2 less than psi of x less than 3 nu over 2. Tama ba? Okay. And so, um, and so, di ba, dalawa yung delta natin. So, I will take the minimum. So, let delta be the minimum of uh, delta 1 and delta 2. And so, if 0 is less than x minus c, less than delta, we have, kasi ang mangyayari, v of x, this is greater than yung P of X natin is 2K over new. So, maging 2K over new. And, ang, um, ano natin, psi of X, alam natin is greater than new over 2. Wala na tayong paki dito sa right niya. Thus, paano ba? This is P of X times new of X. This is greater than 2K over new times new over 2. Di ba makakancel yan? So, we left with k. Eh, yan yung goal natin. Magiging greater than yan k. So, therefore, um, yung result pala is positive infinity. That's it. So, guys, if you have any questions or clarification, please let me know. So guys, that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe so that you'll be updated on a lot of videos that I'll be uploading soon. And for those um, who have questions regard or clarifications on the discussion, please comment down there so that I would know and we can discuss that on the next video. Thank you. Have a great day.